I thought it was the most fascinating because what's going on here is you realize we have invented these awesome, destructive, powerful technologies called nuclear weapons, and they are managed, and you know we 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 humans are we're not really capable of wielding those weapons. Yeah. We're, you know, that's what he represented in that movie is here's this guy who is uh, just, he wrongly thinks he's like being so petty. He thinks that he said something that Oppenheimer said something bad to Einstein about him. He, they didn't talk about him at all. As you find out in the final scene of the movie. And yet he spent his career trying to be vengeful and, uh, and, and petty and, that's that's the problem we as a species are not really sophisticated enough and mature enough to handle these technologies and so and and by the way before you get to general ai and the possibility of ai having agency and there's a lot of things would have to happen but um there's so much benefit that's going to come from these technologies in the meantime even before they're you know, general AI in terms of better medicines and uh, better tools to develop more technologies and so on. So I think it's an incredible moment to be alive and to witness the transformations that are going to happen. How quickly it will happen, no one knows. But over the next 10 years and 20 years, I think we're going to see really remarkable advances. And I personally am very excited about it. First of all, really interesting to say that it's discoveries that uh, it's true that we don't know the limits of what's possible uh, with the current language models. We don't. And like, it could be a few tricks and hacks here and there that that uh, open doors to hold entire new possibilities. We do know that humans are doing something different um, from these models, in part because, you know, we're so power efficient. You know, the human brain does remarkable things and it does it on about 20 watts of power. 